Now keep in mind I live on a little cove here. This is a dead-end cove where I live. That's a spit of land over there and my whole complex is built around this cove. Look at how fast this water is moving, rushing out of the cove. Actually the complex is called the cove. So I'm watching the water drop a couple of inches per minute here as as the tide recedes out of the out of the bay here at a fairly rapid rate. You can hear this I'm on a floating dock right now. And you can hear the dock settling. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if all the silt, I wonder if it's moving out because it came in already. I don't know. Anyway, it's just fascinating to see that it moved this fast. I can definitely see how it's all rushing out and all of the uh, mud and muck out there is uh, becoming rapidly exposed. Look at how fast that's moving. Wow. interesting. And you can look out there on the, on the marsh flats and that's all starting to get exposed really quickly and here the water, you can tell on the shoreline the water has receded really really quickly as well. So I'm kind of wondering if uh, if the main thrust of the water is all going to come rushing back in now. I don't know. Or if it's been here. I got a call from a friend of mine. Uh, I got a call from uh, lovely and talented Eugene Sway, who is a uh, brilliant architect. And from his office, he can look out through the Golden Gate Bridge, and he said he could see a four-foot surge coming in through the bay. So this is kind of making me wonder is in the, in the case of tsunamis does um, the water does recede before the tsunami hits. So I'm kind of wondering if this is if we're about to get hit with a uh, with an increase in water uh, about to get hit with the uh, tsunami. It was supposed to hit at 8 a.m. The time now is 10.30, and I have somebody showing up at uh, my office, so I have to uh, go meet with him. Okay, take care.